Join us on a journey through the galaxy. Help us find our bodies, set our spirits free. We're the cat heads in space, so we roam. Won't you come along and help us find our home? Oh. We're the cat heads on a mission pure. With your support, our future is secure. Through the universe, our hearts are true. Cat heads and bodies will make them new. Cat heads in space. Episode 27, The Cosmic Catnip Conundrum. Scene 1, The Bridge of the Feline Star Cruiser. Sound of spaceship hums and beeps. We open today's adventure aboard the Grand Feline Star Cruiser, hurtling through the velvety cosmos. The bridge is alive with the usual array of starry blips and bloops on the monitors. Captain Whiskerfluff is pensively staring out the viewport, his tail flicking with each troubling thought. Lieutenant Mittens is trying to adjust the navigation panel, but keeps hitting the wrong buttons with her paws. Ah, the endless black tapestry of space. Speckled with starry existential questions. Do you ever wonder, Mittens, if the universe is just an empty box, and we are but toys left forgotten within it? Oh, come on now, Captain. It's not all doom and gloom. Look at this shiny button. What do you think it does? That's the hyperspace lever, Mittens. We've discussed this. Mittens presses the button, chuckling. Oops. Well, what's life without a little pause and play, right? Loud warp noise. Mittens. That's not playing. That's... Wait, what's that? sound of strange warbling noise. A bizarre warbling noise pierces the usual hum of the bridge. From the shadows of the lower deck emerges a peculiar figure, a catnip plant alien, its green tendrils glowing softly, wafting a hypnotic scent. Greetings, feline travelers. I am Nirvanip, ambassador of the Plantoid Nebula. I bring you peace and catnip. Catnip. Oh boy, oh boy, this is positively the best day. Peace and catnip? In space? Something smells fishy, and it's not the tuna dispenser. Eh, ha, ha, ho. Fear not, valiant captain. I only wish to offer a token of universal peace among all spacefaring species. And what might that token be, mysterious plant creature? Behold, sound of sparkling magic. A cosmic catnip ball, capable of soothing even the most troubled cosmic traveler. Ah, a tool for tranquility or a harbinger of hallucination? The universe is indeed a puzzling litter box. Let's not overthink this, Captain. Let's play. Sound of playful bouncing and cat noises. As Mittens pounces joyfully towards the glowing catnip ball, little do our heroes know. Their journey is about to take a twist into the unknown. Scene two, the recreation room of the feline star cruiser. Sound of echoing playful yowls and paws batting objects. We now find ourselves in the recreation room where Lieutenant Mittens is energetically batting at the cosmic catnip ball, giggling and rolling around with glee. Captain Whiskerfluff watches warily from a corner, his whiskers twitching in suspicion. The room is filled with the sounds of Mittens' joy and the occasional beep from arcade machines lining the walls. Oh, Whiskerfluff, you should try this. It's like, like, catching a laser pointer with your thoughts. Mittens, your enthusiasm is as boundless as the vacuum of space. However, I can't help but feel we're playing into some feline trap. A trap? More like a catapult into happiness. Come on, Captain, loosen up your collar. Sound a door swooshing open. Suddenly the door swooshes open, and in bounds Skidoodle, the puppy head in space, her helmet misting up from excitement. Skidoodle has arrived. Woof, what's this, what's this? Play, play. Hey, Skidoodle. We're just having a little fun with this space-age catnip. Care to join? Oh, yes. Play is my middle name. Ski Doodle Play Puppy. Just be wary, Ski Doodle. This is not your ordinary catnip. It's cosmic. Sound of sniffing and playful growling. Ski Doodle starts chasing the ball, tumbling over mittens, causing both to dissolve into fits of laughter. Captain Whiskerfluff's gaze remains fixed on the door, feeling an impending presence. Mysterious, twinkling. As they play, a shadow looms at the doorway. The shadow solidifies into a figure shrouded in stardust, wearing a cape made of woven comet tails. 
An ethereal voice is heard and is echoing. Greetings, creatures of the cosmos. I am the tailor of time, keeper of the cosmic thread. It seems you have found a thread of your own. The tailor of time. What brings you to our humble craft? To warn you, for every action there is a reaction, every cause and effect. This catnip is more than it seems. Mitten still playing does not look up. Yeah, it seems like a ball of fun. Beware, for this ball can unravel the fabric of your reality. Sound of a low, ominous hum. As the tailor of time speaks, the air thickens with the scent of destiny and danger. What cosmic threads have our adventurers tugged with their playful paws? The room is charged with a palpable tension, mixing with the laughter of oblivious joy. Mittens, skidoodle, cease your cavorting. This is serious. Mittens pausing is slightly out of breath. All right, Captain, if you insist, but it sure is hard to resist. Sound of catnip balls glow intensifying. The cosmic catnip ball begins to glow brighter, its light pulsing like a heartbeat, echoing the beats of impending cosmic consequences. What will this playful peril bring? Stay tuned as our tale twists through the threads of time. Scene 3. The engine room of the feline star cruiser. Sound of pulsating engine hums and occasional mechanical clinks. The scene shifts to the engine room of the feline star cruiser, where the cosmic catnip ball has somehow found its way into the core of the ship's propulsion system. The glowing ball now orbits the fusion reactor, casting eerie shadows across the walls. Captain Whiskerfluff, Lieutenant Mittens, and Skidoodle stand bewildered, watching the spectacle. This is precisely what I feared. The catnip's influence has extended to the very heart of our ship. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. Should I try batting it out? Woof, I have puppy head power. Can I chew it out? I'm good at chewing. Sound of increasing energy pulsations. As they ponder their next move, the energy from the reactor begins to fluctuate wildly, causing the lights to flicker and dim. No mittens, no chewing or batting. We need a precise extraction. This calls for a delicate pause. Delicate, uh, maybe you should handle this, Captain. Very well. Stand back. Sound of slow, suspenseful footsteps. Captain Whiskerfluff approaches the reactor, his paws outstretched towards the glowing catnip ball. His movements are slow, calculated, almost like a dance with destiny. Easy, easy. You can do it, Captain. Be the cat who caught the cream, or in this case, the catnip. Wolfie, go, go, go. Sound of a sudden energy spike. Just as Whiskerfluff's paw grazes the cosmic catnip, a burst of energy shoots out, propelling him backwards into a pile of soft moon wool blankets. Me ouch. That one hurt. Meow. Meow. Ow ow. Meow. Captain, are you okay? That was like a furball of energy. Woof, that looked rough. Captain Whiskerfluff sits up, dazed but dignified. I am unharmed, though my pride may be slightly scratched. Sound of soft ticking. As they regroup, the ticking of a clock grows louder, and a new figure appears from the shadows. An ancient cat clock, its pendulum tails swinging with a hypnotic rhythm. The clockwork cat speaks in a warm but mechanical voice. Time is of the essence, my feline and canine friends. The cosmic catnip has synchronized with the ship's temporal drive. You must reset the temporal dial or be forever stuck in this moment. Stuck? Like stuck with unlimited catnip? I'll take that sticking. More like stuck in a loop repeating the same moment until the end of time. We must act swiftly. Clockwork. Cat, guide us. What must we do? Sound of gears turning. The clockwork cat's eyes glow as it projects a holographic blueprint of the ship's engine. The crew gathers around, their faces lit by the blueprint's eerie blue light, ready to untangle the cosmic knot they've inadvertently tied. What steps will they take? to weave their way out of this temporal tangle. Stay tuned as the clock ticks down. Scene four, the control room of the feline star cruiser. Sound of urgent electronic beeping and the low hum of computing equipment. In the heart of the control room, the air is thick with tension. Captain Whiskerfluff, Lieutenant Mittens, Skidoodle, and the clockwork cat are surrounded by panels of blinking lights and swirling dials, each one a potential solution, a further entanglement in their temporal predicament. Here is the temporal dial. You must recalibrate it precisely to the cosmic frequency of the nebula of forgotten whiskers. Only then can you break the loop. Very well. Mittens, you handle the frequency adjustments. 
Ski Doodle, monitor the energy flux. On it, Captain. I'm ready to tune in to the perfect frequency. Woof. Watching. Watching really hard. Sound of knobs turning and switches flipping. Mittens carefully adjusts the dials, her paws surprisingly nimble as they dance across the controls. Ski Doodle's eyes dart back and forth, following the fluctuating readings on the energy meter. Hmm, how about this setting? No, maybe this one. Oh, I hope I'm doing this right. Trust your instincts, Mittens. You have a natural feel for these things. Bark, Barky. Numbers going up, numbers going up, now down, now up again. Steady, steady, align the dial with the resonance of the cosmic weave. You are close. Sound of a deep, resonant hum building. As Mittens fine-tunes the settings, the ship begins to vibrate gently, a sign that they are sinking with the cosmic frequencies. The room glows with a soft nebular light. I believe we are on the cusp of something profound. I just hope it's not our ninth lives we're gambling with here. Sound of energy peaking. Suddenly the ship lurches as if caught in a cosmic wave. The crew braces themselves, paws and claws gripping the edges of control panels. Massive energy discharge. Hold! On! Oh, oh, no! Yikes! Go, Captain, go, Captain, go! The sound of calming systems. The ship steadies. The hum of alignment fills the air. And the lights stabilize into a calming glow. They've done it. The temporal loop is broken. Did we... did we fix it? Purring from Clockwork Cat. Yes, you have restored the timeline. For now... Thank you, Clockwork Cat. Your guidance was invaluable. Sound of the Clockwork Cat winding down. With a final tick, the Clockwork Cat fades into a shimmering mist. Its mission completed. Woof. Yay. Time for celebratory barks. Sound of happy barking and relieved laughter. As the crew celebrates their narrow escape from an eternal repeat, little do they know that the universe still holds many twists in its starry tale. But for now, they enjoy their victory. Each purr and bark a note in the symphony of space. Next time, let's stick to regular catnip, huh, Captain? Indeed, Mittens. Let's save the cosmic adventures for another day. Scene 5, the observatory deck of the feline star cruiser. Sound of soft celestial music and the low hum of the ship. As the crew settles from their earlier excitement, they gather in the observatory deck, a tranquil room with vast windows that offer a panoramic view of the surrounding cosmos. Stars twinkle like distant lighthouses, guiding the way through the dark sea of space. Captain Whiskerfluff, Lieutenant Mittens, and Ski Doodle sit side by side, reflecting on their recent adventures. It appears, dear crew, that even in the vast emptiness of space, we find ourselves entangled in the webs of destiny and time. And catnip. Don't forget the cosmic catnip. That was some powerful stuff. Woof. I like adventures, but I like naps after adventures even more. Sound of gentle tail wagging. As Ski Doodle snuggles into a cozy nook, a soft, beeping noise interrupts the tranquility. A communication panel lights up, signaling an incoming message. Hmm. Now what could this be? Another twist in our tail? Mittens excitedly pause the communication button. Ooh, let me get it. Hello? Who's out there in the big, wide universe? Sound of static clearing, then a mysterious voice. The voice that comes through is unlike any other. It resonates with the depth of space itself. A mysterious deep space voice is majestically echoing. It is the massive voice of Stardust, the cosmic librarian. Greetings, feline and canine travelers. I am Stardust, the cosmic librarian. I have been watching your journey with great interest. Greetings, Stardust. What wisdom do you bring from the depths of the archives? I come bearing a gift, a tome of unimaginable knowledge, the Galactic Almanac of Infinite Tales. It is yours to study, should you choose. A book out here? Possum. Bog, does it have pictures? I like pictures. The sound of a cosmic wind and twinkling stars. As they speak, a shimmering book materializes in the air, slowly floating down into Captain Whiskerfluff's waiting paws. We are honored, Stardust. We will cherish this almanac and learn from its pages. Use it well, travelers. Remember, every star has a story, and every tale has its time. Sound of the book's pages fluttering. As the connection fades, the crew gathers around the galactic almanac, 
eager to uncover the secrets held within its ancient pages. Looks like we've got some reading to do. Maybe it'll have some tips on avoiding cosmic catnip mishaps. Indeed, Mittens. Let us hope it guides us well on our future voyages. Sound a peaceful starry ambiance. As the ship sails quietly through the cosmos, our heroes look forward to new adventures guided by the wisdom of the stars and the camaraderie of their crew. The universe is vast, but for Captain Whiskerfluff, Lieutenant Mittens, and Skidoodle, the journey is always more intriguing with friends by their side. To infinity and beyond, dear friends. Wherever this book leads us, we go together. Sound of a cosmic melody playing softly. And so, with stars in their eyes and curiosity in their hearts, our intrepid explorers continue their journey across the galactic tapestry, ever in search of answers, adventure, and occasionally a good nap. Stay tuned for more tales of whiskers and wonders in the great cosmic beyond. And let's hope for more treats, too. Right, Ski Doodle? Woof. Treats and naps. Best day ever. Sound of fading music and a soft chuckle. Until next time, dear listeners, keep your tales high and your curiosity higher. End of play. Join us on a journey through the galaxy. Help us find our bodies, set our spirits free. We're the cat heads in space, so we roam. Won't you come along and help us find our home? We're the cadets on a mission pure With your support our future is secure Through the universe our hearts are true Cat heads and bodies will make them new